you in a double excel right now tunataka waje kwenye event tunataka talent zao zifufuke huko ambapo wapo tuwaone yani tuchanganyikane hii combination ndio ilitengeneza bongo flavor yani flavor yeah. zo zote zile unazikuta bongo hapa yeah. zinafanywa kazi mm. zinaenda duniani heshima yeah. nyingi kwa akili the brain yeah. alibuni bongo bangra yes. na stick pale yes. kama artist wa zamani walitumia akili sana shout out kwa hata Mr Nice ali, yeah. ali create the exactly. keu you know what yeah. I mean ikakaa yeah. pale kwa hiyo tunataka creative mind kama hizi za kina akili yes. my brother Arafat yuko hapa kuteka over ama sio ma amen yes brother <laughs> unajisikiaje kuwa wa kwanza kutengeneza indo ama indo piano, indo piano. <laughs> uh, unajisikiaje kuwa part of featuring uh, your baba yake yeah. yeah. yeah. baba yake who is who is a legend, a legend. Yeah. in the industry <laughs> sema kampata kiraisi sana yaomba kwa namu kwa kasi Well of course najisikia proud uh, very happy kwa sababu wakati tunavuunda alikuwa alivyosema tuliondolewa mm. so yeah kaweka transition pale ya Bangra <laughs> afali weka melody tu okay. so hapa alikuwa ajaandika bado lyrics mm. so mimi nikasema hii melody nzuri mm. wacha nikae niandike mm. lyrics zake sasa okay. na hata ukisikiliza kwenye wimbo mm. umeimbo kiini mm. mm. yani kwenye ile part ya transition yote ni wimbo kiini okay, okay. na tumeelezea tafsiri yake pia pale pale kwenye video ipo lyrics ah kuna really yeah. Yeah. Yeah. so yeah. nadhani is a very proud moment for me kuwa naye na yeye yeah, kunishiriki shami of course ni comeback yake aliyofanya because ameka kimya for almost a year So, so this but, is a comeback. Yeah, it's a yeah. comeback of the legend. Yeah. <laughs> na wa, mtegemee kuna ngoma nyingi sana za Bangla sasa zinakuja. Yeah. So, so, so, sisi tunakukaribisha uh, sana sababu as we said tunahitaji that yes, yes. Uh, society yeah. that jamii. Mm-hmm. Kitu kingine cha mwisho kabla ya kangu dazen. Na kuangalia hapa. Heshima <laughs> zinarudi kwa hawa maofisa. Yeah. <laughs> kina mitun cha karaboti huko kina Amrish Kapoor huko. <laughs> Way back at the time yeah. kipindicho yeah. TV hakuna. Tunaenda mm-hmm. kwenye majumba ya cinema. Yeah. Waliweza kufanikiwa sana kufi, ku, ku mashups movie na mziki. Yeah. Movie na mziki. Mm. Hata kina Tupac sio nani tuliwafahamu zaidi sababu kulikuwa kuna ma movie na mziki. Yeah. Hiyo plan imekaje kibongo bongo? Tunaweza kufanya well, hizo. Uh, mimi oh. kwa sasa hivi nimeshaanza za karibu miaka mi toka 2019 nimeanza kufanya kwenye hizi series ambazo za mm. Kenya. Mm. Mm. E, nimeshaimba na nyimbo ziko hit sana kule Kenya kama kuna nyimbo ushai kusikia kuna series labda naweza kusema yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, kuna ile Maria ah. theme song ni mimi imehit sana kule Kenya kuna Zora imehit sana Kenya kuna Sultana yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. theme song zote yeah, ni yeah. mimi yeah. Yeah. Yeah. na ah, sasa hivi imetoka Becky vile vile Becky pia nimeimba mimi so ile theme song zote yeah. na watu wanaangalia zile series kutoka na nyimbo yangu yeah. oh, unapataje ile mashavu yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Ni kama I feel like ni kama hatu hatu ku appreciate vya kutosha bongo ama No no no no well hapa ndo nakwambia nini kama hivi sipate hizo platforms bro mm. Mi bro mtu akiniletea kitu bwana mimi na plan fulani nataka kutengeneza movie nataka kutengeneza series mimi nataka kitu fulani au sio nataka music unajua mimi na ile uwezo kufanya background music ya movie nzima Dio. na kufanya so, full effects kwenye movie nzima lakini sipati hizo kazi mm. kwa sababu wengi wanafanya simple tu wana download to music kutoka internet wanaweka wanamaliza lakini we, uh, which is haitakii Eh, labda yeah. walikuwa wajui yeah. na nafikiri yeah. lamata ongeza sauti ya radio sababu <laughs> this is very serious <laughs> na producers wengine na kuhusu nyimbo yeah. unavyosema uh, mimi mwenyewe niliandaa movie yangu uh, kitambo karibu miaka mitano iliyopita mm. na ilikuwa to shoot ndani kulikuwa na movie it was like a serious ilikuwa ni movie yangu mwenyewe yani I mean real life mm. how i came up or how i started and everything lakini imekuja bahati mbaya mambo ya Mungu movie kidogo ikaleta shida miaka hiyo. So nadhani ilifungwa mm. kitu kama hiyo. Ah, ulisha shoot? Na, asija shoot. Oh. Script ipo kila kitu. So kwa sasa hivi kwa sababu watu wanasema movie ile ah, hapo hapo mbona story yako ingekuwa ni tamu sana. Interesting. N- yeah. Nini mezuia? Bro, ndo kama nakwambia ile Bongo movie nadhani ile katika katikati watu wengi Bongo movie zilikufa kama nadhani wakati ule ah, then, kutoka okay eh, sijui miaka ya nyuma kama mitano hivi mm. mm. sita then uh, baada hapo nilikana watu wakaniambia bana sasa hivi tunaweza tukafanya hiyo hiyo series uh, nini script yako hii tukaikata kwenye series series yeah. na ukaweka nyimbo zako na nyimbo pia zipo full ya ile nazo mm. nazo nyimbo nne kwa je movie ipo mm. zipo tayari na kwa jile ndo maana mimi nilikana mtu 
uh, jamali ananjua uh, lakini kule kutoka Kenya waleni call in contact bwana tunaweza kufanya hii kitu unaweza kufanya mimi mm. nikaambia kanaambia unaweza kutupa demo kama fine kwa sababu mimi najijua mwenye anachofanya na I'm sure I can do it bring mm-hmm. wakanipa nikaambia wewe usiniambie chochote just pigeni tu kwenye simu ile voice note story short short mm-hmm. story ni peni mimi kuna teremsha nyimbo bas ikawa hivyo na nikafanya na ime, ya picha I mean ilivotoka ile series ya kwanza tu Maria super duper hit alafu mm-hmm. ikaja tena ikatoka Zora hit ikatoka tena Sultana very hit na sasa hivi beki vile vile imehiti pia. So yeah. nadhani mnazifahamu hiyo series. Yeah. So all ikianza ile series utaona lazima nyimbo inakuja. Mm. Kumbe ni wabongo bana. Ah, Shout out yes. to Kenya man. Ushirikiano <laughs> ni wa hali ya juu. <coughs> Kuna sign moja anaionyesha umesema I kill the brain. Yeah, I kill the, I kill the brain. brain. brain. Yeah. Yeah. Utaiona baadaye ama unaweza kuangalia sasa hivi kwenye YouTube channel yetu. Ni kama sign yeah. Rashford akishinda, mm. akifunga. <laughs> Afanyaje? Watu wa Manchester hao. Ah, yeah. tuache wewe. <laughs> Watu wa Simba tuongelee. Ah, ah shara tu Kagere. Ausie <laughs> bwana. Nafikishi na kinafiki. Ah, wewe. <laughs> wewe ulihamia Simba kweli ama watu zote? Asa, wewe wewe shabiki wa Simba, wewe shabiki wa Yanga. Eh. Yaani unajua kabisa kwamba Kagere jana. Mm. Kama unapenda football. Eh. Ile penalty wamepigiaje tena? <laughs> Ile TX2 anasema hivi. Eh. Nimesema mkileo msicheze mpira. <laughs> okay. My brother Akili the Brain karibu kwenye Double XL. Asante yeah. sana yeah. kwanza kwa karibisho mkubwa sana kwa yeah. Clouds. Yeah. Kwenye kipindi cha XXL. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. a lot you guys. Salute. Yeah. Mm. Shukran sana. Shukran sana always. Shukran sana. Shukran. Appreciate Thank sana. You. Yeah. Asante sana. Jana ndo nimekuja kugundua bwana kumbe una kijana wako na yeye anafanya music. Ndio. <laughs> Hiyo story alikuwa ananipa Mina. Uh, Ongera sana. Sasa ndugu yangu mtoka unavoitwa nani kwani tuna namba B12 B12 uko kule au bado wadogo mwana toka school tunawasiliana ndio vinakuwa wakati huo okay yeah yeah so ilikuwaaje alivyokuambia kwamba anataka kufanya music ulimpa blessing ya moja kwa moja ama kuna namna ulisita hivi well unajua sisi tumejifunza sana mimi vile vile nimejifunza kutoka kwa kakangu okay vile vile can inspire ndio mimi nimekuwa musician Okay. Mm. Na upande wa mtoto wangu labda tungepata kusema watoto wangu karibu wote wana chembe chembe za music. Yeah. Mwingine mm-hmm. anapiga keyboard, mwingine okay. anamwona mke wa mtoto kike anaimba. Mm. Akisema hayupo kwenye uh, Bonye, yes, yes, industry. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Industry. Lakini huyu kataka kuja lakini alikuwa kidogo ana weak point zake kidogo so alikuwa na brush up. Mm. Na nikamwambia kama kweli unataka kufanya inabidi uingie kwanza kwenye band mm. uingie okay. nikutengeneze nikuone kama unaenda vile vile kuna hiyo kwenye live ukiimba mtu ndio yeah. unaanza kujua yeah. studio mtu unaanza kuja kumtengeneza atakaimba kweli so sometimes mtu anaanza kuimba flat yeah. uh, ukamrekebisha studio lakini yeah. akiwa katika uh, live mm. ina maana akienda flat mwenye anajua kwa hapa kuna kuna kosa na kufanya so through that nimemfunza yeah. karibu okay. miaka mitatu minne okay. anakuja kwenye band anaimba hivyo hivyo yeah. mm matatizo yapo lakini ambaye akaa pembeni kwa yeah, tulia yeah, yeah. tunakuja naimba nampa nyimbo fulani hivyo yeah, mazoezi yeah. lakini then uh, pole pole unajua mtu una, unajijenga na unajua yeah. kosa unalofanya yeah. so yeah. all in all anafanya vizuri then nikaambia sasa ingia studio yeah. u record yeah. na hilo ni kweli dazen kwa sababu bidu yuko alikimfuatilia Rafat kwa muda mrefu yeah. ngoma okay. zake za zamani mm. na ya sasa hivi mpya ambaye mmeimba exactly. pamoja kuna difference kubwa sana na ndio aje ngambe ngoma actually ni kali hebu sikilizeni yeah. bwana sure. so the, you can see hicho ambacho unakisema yes. by the way siri ya ku look young and fresh Eh hey, miaka yote ya kilu ubadiliki ni nini jamaa? Jamaa sasa mimi nianza kusema hizo siri watu wakinifuata sio watu watakuwa vijana. Tupate na wazee. Eh? Tupate na wazee. boy forever. Mzamboi forever. Mzamboi forever. Kitu ambayo mimi naojui kuhusiana na kakaangu akili the brain. Eh. Enzi unajua sio nini kimetokea sasa hivi? Ah shout out kwa Akili and the family sababu shukrani. Tanzania ina watu wa asili tofauti yeah. eh? mm-hmm. na dushnu mere barabara che wako wengi kishere <laughs> wako wengi yani eh? umechapia hapo <laughs> <laughs> utanierekebisha <laughs> my point is kwa nini hii jamii kama haipo kwenye kwenye mziki wa bongo flavor hivi enzile za ray to the sea 
tulikuwa tunawaona wanaja wanakuja kwenye event wanacheza unajua dada zao na nini lakini sasa hivi wabaki wanaume tu ni kwa sababu gani bongo flavor wa dada hawapo na kama mpo ni ni wewe na your family kwa nini wengine hawapo na kwenye event hawaji hawaji well, na, na, na, na, na, na hii mianza toka na nini toka Mari daddy sana Mari daddy sana You been there? Yeah, I watched. Ulikuwaepo? Yes. Aha. I was young but yakina. I watched. Sile sigara mfukoni lakini hawana pesa mfukoni. Wewe Mari daddy sana. Sasa kipigwa mapiano hiyo sasa hivi ni shughuli nyingine. Wewe sema wacha hiyo tuongelee hii. Yeah. Ah well mimi labda ningependa kusema kwamba Yapo kwa mimi wanasema mimi ni mwindi lakini mwindi tolo la mwisho. <laughs> mwindi anakaa ilala. <laughs> mwindi waindi wanakaa ostabe. <laughs> Sasa ukisema labda kwa nini hawaji? Ndio siwezi kusema. Lakini mimi najua nimeishi uswailini, nimekulia uswailini. Yeah. Mm. Kumbolela nimecheza, mm. togo nimekunywa. Mm. Na na, na blender paka leo nakula. <laughs> yaani so, mbongo kwa kifupi. Yeah, kabisa. Yeah. So that's the case lakini sikukaa sana na wahindi zaidi mm. na na nimeishi kwenye uh, environment ya wabongo tu almost mm. na rafiki zangu labda ni wabongo tu karibu wote mm. na so sema kwa sababu ya njaa zetu hizi mm. wanafanya show za kihindi mm. okay kama yeah. kihindi na kijua nice. yeah. no so naimba hizi copy za kihindi nyingi sana mm. bro ukija kwenye show unaanza kusema da jamaa naimba hivi vipi mm. so ukija kuniona kwenye live ndio utajua huyu jamaa so na, kwe... na mafans wangu weki, wako wengi wa Hindi mm. wanakuja okay. kwenye show zangu ambazo nazopiga motelini sema hizi platforms zingine za bongo flavor kwa sababu mimi kwanza binafsi mm. ningepata kusema kwanza mm. sipati platform ya bongo flavor mm-hmm. sipati kabisa kwa nini uongo mbaya mm. no, na, so nimeshasema mara nyingi bwana wadau bwana nichukue ni jamani muone kitu kwa sababu watu wanataka kwenye platform hizo na wanioni bro. Mm. Sasa sijui ni rangi au sijui vipi. Mm. Labda pengine hapo ah, inategemea mdau ni nani sasa? Which mdau are you talking? Well, well naongelea wadau kwa wote. Mm. Si onge, si ongele specific. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Labda kwa sababu tunaona yani wenye makampuni labda wakifanya event wa kuone whatever wame. whatever. Mm. Kwa sababu wasanii wanaonekana wale kwa wale okay. kwenye bongo flavor. Mm. Lakini kuna flavor ambayo watu wanahitaji kama wanamwona kill the brain ana ngoma fulani lakini kumpata kwenye uh, kwenye kwenye platform hizi za kibongo flavor tumuoni nyimbo huko ina hit inaonekana huko mm. tumuoni mm. so hiyo inaniumiza pia mimi mm. na maana ndo maana nimejiamulia kufanya show zangu mwenyewe ambazo za kihindi mm. napata wafuasi wangu wale wabongo uh, wako waindi wanakuja kwenye show zangu mm. <coughs> na vile vile wasio simbi kihindi tu naimba mm. kiarabu kizungu okay. na wana kwenye show so napata different crowd yeah. wanakuja hiyo mm. ndo sababu kubwa dawa. Yaani ya, mimi yeah. kama mwakilishi wa wadau <laughs> nafikiri ili tulitizame sababu ah, ini jamii ambayo inahitajika na ipo na ina vibe kichizi kichanganyika exactly. tutatoa flavor moja yeah. no. Ndio maana nataka kusema uh, Adam kwamba wakiniona kule kama kwenye platform hizo kama unavyosema haonekani mm. Lakini ukibona mwenzao pia huko moja pale. Hayo watakuja. So obviously bro. Ikiarrangeo yeah. show bwana kitu fulani na watu wanakuja brother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Kwa nini wanakuja kwangu kule wanajaza sana? Kwa nini kwenye platform kubwa asije? Yeah. Mm. Na popike right. kule inakuwa full bro. Mm. Yes. Panajaza kabisa. Yeah. Hivi na ile crowd hiyo au watu kule. Yeah. Wazoka wamishia huku yani labda siku wasema kuna event fulani atakuepo akili the brain ile ile crowd ambayo tunaikosa itakuja kuona nini ambacho kinafanyika ni kitu wazoeshe pole pole mm. oh, okay. yeah. lazima tufanye hivyo yeah. kwa sababu tuwapate watu wale so inabidi tuwazoeshe bwana kuna labda leo kwa beach labda kuna mm. kitu mm. au kiko diamond jubilee au same mm. flani yote mm. wanaogopa labda jinsi yes. gani wanaweza kukulipa sababu Waindi kwanza wamebalikiwa kufanya biashara kuliko wachaga they know money better than they <laughs> know mimi nakwambia ni kupe mfano tu mm. mimi kaenda kufanya show zangu mikoani kama nikaenda Arusha au nikaenda Mwanza bro unajaza bro all is zima linakuwa limefurika mm. na naika entrance changu i get money so why not mm. why not here it why not mm. well. yeah. <coughs> yeah. Brother, you gonna, yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. You, you gonna Arafat. Ngoja nimuulize Arafat hili swali before au jenda mbali. Mimi sio swali, ni statement yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ambayo na, mawazo, sio ah, swali. Okay. Mawazo okay. yangu ambayo nadhani tu tu, tu ya highlight kupitia XXL leo mm. ni kwamba ukiachana na na Akil kuwakilisha 
hiyo uh, hiyo generation ambayo unaongelea mm. pia ndio mtu ambaye kwenye game ya bongo flavor ana mchango mkubwa sana so his history kwenye mm. kwenye bongo flavor kwa sababu wa Tanzania karibia wote mm. tulikuwa tunamfuatilia akill the brain na haikujalisha race yani exactly. kwamba ni wa aina gani wa haikuwa wahindi tu yani Tanzania nzima tulikuwa tunaimba nyimbo za huyu mtu ambaye amekuja aliteka game tuzo na jamaindi paka leo na na alafu ame, ame impact nyimbo kama Regina si nyimbo zilikuwa ma hit song makubwa kwenye child yetu mpaka tunajua kama unajua unajua tu yeah. Yeah. unajua unajua tu so tuzo sio tatizo as long as unajiamini mwenyewe kama una, una kitu mm. That's it. Yeah. That's uh, kwa Arafat pale. Uh, okay. Mshua wako alikuwa anasema kwamba mwanzoni mwanzoni ile alikuwa anakukataza, anakutoa kwenye bendi na nini. Ilikuwa ina kudisappoint ama ilikuwa kuna namna inakujenga? Ah, uh, kusema kweli ilikuwa inajenga. Siwezi kasema ilikuwa ni disappoint. Of course, mwanzoni nilikuwa na shangaa tu. Kwa nini mzee bana ananifanyia mm. hivi? Na mm. <laughs> ndaga studio bro. Mpaka natamani kulia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So alikuwa ananibania akasema ah we record tu afu nenda za ukacheze huko sio yeah. kufanya issue zako. Yeah. So mimi nikasema hapo mm, like I mean ndo nikakaa peke yangu hivi nikakaa na mdogo wangu akasema baba nakupima. Mm. Uendelee hivyo hivyo. Yeah. Ushaona? Sasa kama ananipima basi fresh acha yeah. pambane naye. Yeah. So kwenye bend niko na vuenda niko najenga. Mm. Kila ninapokosea na nirekebisha bana uimbe hivi mm. interact vipi na audience wako. Mm. So I think kwenye band nikajifunza mambo mengi sana kuhusu music mm. na kutoka experience yake na time aliyokuwa kwenye Bongo Flavor pia kwenye industry. I mean help sana. Yeah. Unijenga na ndo mpaka uh, 2019 na ndo kanitambulisha rasmi. Mm. <coughs> una, una, una, unaweza ka unaweza ka on stage with a live performance for how long? Like a professional kabisa au ndo still you learning? Bro, sisi tuna perform. Mm. Yaani Tukianza show for example non stop 8 hours wo wo wo oh yeah 8 hours non stop yeah mm. hatupumziki hatupumziki kabisa na mimi nakuwa nimesimama kwenye keyboard zee at least mimi nakuwa nakaa sometimes nakaa kidogo kwa sababu zee akae kabisa mm. yeko mm. full time standing keyboard mm. ana ana set sound all the time masaa nane on stage masaa ndio maana bado yuko fit kufanya kazi wa siri kufanya kazi na like a family yani kuna namna inakuwa ni rahisi ama ni ngumu yani yani kura ishisha swali la dozen kufanya kazi na family ni either rahisi au ngumu inakuwa ngumu pale ambapo kuna kitu atakufanya You need to hug some beautiful girls man you know <laughs> see the artist yeah. so you go pale you be like I'm sure anaweza kaona flani unajua una urais na kuna ugumu wake of course uh urais upo pale because nadhani napata kila kitu uh, from him yeah music production like everything is there for me yeah ni mimi tu kuji, kujituma na kuweka hard work yangu pale. Yeah, yeah. Ugumu unakuja pale. <laughs> of course kama unavyosema hapa Adam, brother Adam. <laughs> Nikutana na watu hivi wakitaka sometimes mtu anataka kupiga piki. Sure yeah, show sure love and that. Yeah. Kind of, of course nikiwa na mzee kidogo unajiona aibu, si unajua sasa. Au yeah. una hard to. Hapana, mimi sina girlfriend bro niko single. Ah! Sasa hapa kumbuka, mimi I want to remind you guys. Ningemkumbatia tu. Kumoga waletwa akili the brain na ume bwana. Yes. Akili the brain na usio akili natumika sana hapa kwenye kwenye kujibu maswali kwenye kuaskilu wa master bana you guys na mshamtrain akili my brother respect to you kabisa and hizo mimi namjua kekaangu hapa ni ilala katikati uh, Farid Kubanda fit you rock city native ya kekaangu Marem Saivi Steve Okay. Steve to K okay. eh, na yule the producer mwenyewe ilikuwa ni familia moja noma sana ilala pale na Len Music na yeah. Len Game yeah. ananikaribisha unajua studio I'm like na najisikia nyumbani yani na, na, na mheshimu for that hmm. nini ambacho kinakufanya uone ugumu kwa kijana kujiachia na ku, how old is he now kiasi okay, kwamba hawezi kukuprove na girlfriend na amekulia ilala pale hapa na asindanganye hilo <laughs> <laughs> yeah ku prove hiyo ni ngumu bro kwa sababu yeah. mtoto wa kiume mimi sizani ameshafika 28 now okay. he's 28 mm. 28 right mm. so sema ndo kwa sababu labda anaogopa kusema sema mshua sure, utakuwa mkali utakuwa mkali sana unajua mimi akashinana na girlfriend mm. yes 
Sonra ben yazma okuyor önümüzde. Ben o neşe respect. Respect of course. Ako unay. İla o neşe respect. Kwenye game kuna mambo ya kiki. Kuna kuimba you can sing. So so beautiful. Lakini watu paka wapate attention na wewe wanajulizo kwanza. Yule nani? Yule nani? Ah sindo yule nani yule wabongo movie. Au sindo yule nani nani. Alimpiga gam tama. Sasa kwa kwa kuna kata ito swani. Sasa kwa nini alijitolea mfano mwenye. By the way it doesn't. Just kwa kwa vivid example. Vivid example. Hata ufanya vitu vizuri milioni. Ile mbaya moja mba utafanya ndo itaku represent. True true true. So it is what it is. Yeah. Kwenye mambo hayo sasa yeah. umemwarenjia ama amejiarrange ama yuko ready kiasi gani ama uko ready kiasi gani maana mziki wa sasa hivi si kuimba tu inahitaji hiyo that kind of attention exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. showbiz mm, showbiz exactly how ready in fact in mimi upande wangu labda miaka hiyo unajua tulikuwa tuna mambo kama hayo ngome yeah. inatoka ina hit inaenda vizuri alhamdulillah kwa uwezo kwa Allah kwamba mambo kila kitu yalikuwa yanaenda vizuri na mpaka naendelea kufanya ngoma zangu zingine zingine nafanya na vile vile kama hii tumeanza kuachia mataa pia mata we didn't do anything like it's like a song only we did it au sio tumefanya there's nothing like a kick kama kuona kuna chochote mm. no, na ngoma tu inajitembeza na ngoma yenyewe ni, ni nzuri mwenye anajua yeah sio kama nasema watu wameikubali na mimi mwenyewe nikikubali yeah. watu wanaikubali right. so uh, okay. so labda kwa upande wa vijana mm. sijui miaka hiyo hatujui bro mambo hakika tujui yeah. we don't know exactly Kabisa. mimi mtu akaanza kusema bwana akili kavaa chupi kaonekana sehemu mm. kwanza nitajisikia vibaya sana oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, so kwa, kwa generation ya save okay mimi simkatalia asifanye he can lakini namwambia ufanye kwa limit zote mm. unajua bwana una babako bwana ana, ana respect so you do it with the limits mm. no problem mambo yote fanye with the limit so, so. it's fine So Kiki is it's not come allowed for him. He can do it. But for myself no. I don't think so. I don't know siju baadaye siju labda nikaja nikavaa chupi nikatembea ustabea hapa. Na kwa tofauti. Kuhusu mata ilikuwaaje confuse ama piano na kihindi. Yeah. Kwa sababu nimesikiliza nikasema ah hii ndio ama piano ya kwanza ya kihindi nimesikia kwa sababu kuna kihindi mle ndani. Alafu ni ama piano. Of course uh, arafata meimba papati. Ameimba kawaida lakini wewe yeah. ukaamua kuweka kihindi pale. Ah kwa well unajua mimi uh, katika uchunguzi wangu katika music mimi wanapenda kuchunguza. Uh, wakati ama piano imetoka karibu miaka mitatu minne I think so right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mistaken. So ndivyo toka beats inapiga inavokuja zile ngoma mimi nasema hawa jamaa naimba nini huko ndani. Mm. Ma, naona kama makelele fulani mm. tu. Mm. Kwe, kwe, kwe. Mm. Lakini unaona beats. Mm. Beat ni beat tu. Mm. So time goes imekuja mwaka pili nikasema bado unaendelea huu huu mziki hivi. Mm. So ikaenda time unajua nikaona sasa kumbe ni ni kama beat tu kama hip hop labda R&B labda ukichukulia zook beats so mika these are beats so let me do something on this na nilipokuja kuangalia naona ama piano zote nasikiliza sana zote hata kipandishia dj zinakuwa zinafanana naona zinakwenda na tempo almost the same style the same yeah nikasema you know unakaa tu unasema bwana hapana watu wengi washaanambia bwana watu wanakuhitaji kwenye banga kwa sababu Regina mpaka leo inapigwa kwa. Yeah. Bongo banga. So mimi nikasema bwana watu wananiambia bwana akili kwani usitoa unatoa nyimbo za slow. Toa zile banga za zamani. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikasema ah mm. vijana wamekuja na idea ya ya ya, ya mapiano ya mapiano. So mimi nikasema ah. nikamwambia kuna producer mwingine pia kodogo dogo kwangu pale. Amba ni chipukizie sasa hivi. Nikamenyea anzeni kufanya skeleton. Ni anzeni hiyo ngoma wakaanza wakaimba imba mimi kila nikija sielewi kitu no nikamwambia akaingiza verse huyu na yule mwingine kijana mwingine yupo kwangu pia akaingiza verse sasa nikamwambia sasa mimi naona huko kuna kitu naweza nikafanye sasa nyie ondoke ni wote nikatimua wote eh kwa nini hutaki watu kio studio why kwa sababu ningeanza bangra tu anga ambia amza unaeka bangra huko sijui nina nini so mimi kaambia nyie nendeni mimi nitajaribu kuimba mwenye anavoweza. Yeah. Aujui kama nitaimba kihindi au nini. Mm. Nona, nilifanya melody tu kwanza hivi nikaingiza ingiza lakini aujui kama nitaimba kihindi au nitaimba Kiswahili au vipi. Mm. So then wao kaondoka zao. Baada kama siku mbili mwenye nikapata time yangu nikaingia pale. 
nikadondosha vitu nikanga vimwanga vyangu vya bangra mule ndani nikaimba kiindi nikaimix nika nikaambia sasa hii imekaa kama demo kidogo watasikia vizuri hapa njoni Sikizeni kitu hiki. Mm. Kukaa kila mmoja kikaa anaanza kujikuna kuna. Eh ulifikiria nini hapa? Mm. Ulifikiria nini? So that's how it is. Yeah. Na tume, tumefanya kama mchezo lakini ni ama piano ya kwanza nadhani hata duniani is like a first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Ni mchanganyo wa kihindi hata wa South Africa wakisikia hata vitu vitoa huko. Jamaa ka switch vipi na kufanya ile fusion yeah. na ile transition iliyopita pale. Yeah. I love that. Na without any tempo difference. Mm. Iko hivi. Bangra Manake na kuwa nini? Eh, Bangla is a style. Ndio kama ni kuombea mapya ni style. Na Bangla ni style. Mm. Na bongo Bangla. Kwa sababu bongo Bangla bongo, yani eh. tuseme bongo ni hapa. Eh, bongo eh. flavor yani. Kwa Bangla iko tayari India. Sasa ulivoleta Tanzania ndio ikawa bongo Bangla. Eh, ikawa ya Tanzania. Mm. Sasa ikawa ya tuseme ya wa bongo. Hivi umeshawahi so, kuperform India? Mimi? Mm. Nishawahi kuperform mwaka 2006. Yeah. Yes. Mapokezi alikuwaaje? Sana tu. Mbona hujarudi tena sasa? Well, uh, unajua kuna mambo katikati hapa tuweze kuelezea yeah. mambo family ya family yeah. so mambo mengi lakini sasa hivi nishapata pata watu wengi sana bro. Yeah. Yeah. Maki ngome imeenda paka India bro. Mm. Imepenya. Yeah. Watu wameisikiliza kule mpaka UK wapi kuna napata comments nzuri. Yeah. Yeah. So kuna kitu ambacho naweza nikafanya nao sasa hivi. Yeah. Yes. Okay.